Hey everyone, so we here we are in a new school year, but it is our second year with Screencastify and we have great videos and we want to enhance them a little bit. So I wanted to show you a couple things that are a little bit old, but then there's some new things that were added over the summer in the editor function that can help with your differentiating instruction, adding text boxes and so on. The first thing you have to do is create your video and I just made this little video in the background right here just with our Google screen. And I'm going to click on open in editor. Once you open it in editor, it might take a minute depending on how long your video is and it's just going to go through that screen. My video is literally like eight seconds. So it took a quick, it was quick, but don't get nervous if it takes you a minute. All right. So we're going to look at these functions down here. So if you're looking at your screen, you're looking at the bottom left over there. All right. So you're going to look at these functions right here. So I'm going to click on my video. So when you're looking at your video, anytime you're editing, you, right, so anytime you want to edit it, it needs to be yellow. I'm going to move my marker. So if you see that white marker that goes above the yellow outlined video that you already created, I'm going to move my marker and I'm going to click cut. So what that's going to do is it's going to give you two sections. Why do I need this? Okay, so maybe what you want to do is cut out the dog barking or the bell ringing, or maybe you have a long part where you made a mistake, which I just did, and I'm going to go back and cut it out before I publish this. All right, um, so it's just a way that you can keep recording and then cut it out later. Another thing you might want to do here is maybe add an, a video in between. So maybe you start your video and then you wanted to show them something else. So you add a video in between using the add media function, which we'll get to later. And you can just put it right in between and it's seamless and very simple. If I had the dog barking or I made that mistake, I'm going to watch my video, listen to it, and I'm going to... I want to get rid of the dog barking or any of the other things that I need to get rid of. So let me move this guy up here. So if you look at this area up here, this is going to zoom in and out of your timeline. Okay, so what this does for you is it shows you the audio waves down here. So as you notice, there's a lot of blank space and who needs that blank space in a video? Maybe you were thinking about something, maybe, um, I don't know, there's a million different reasons that you could have blank space in a video, but it needs to be intentional because we only have a few minutes of attention span. So I want to get rid of some of this blank video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this marker to where I start talking again. So if you see these blue waves down here, I'm going to click on them. Now I have my marker in a separate space. All right, I'm going to hit cut. And as you notice, I isolated that spot that I want to get rid of. Okay. So I'm going to click on it to make it yellow and I can delete it two different ways. I can click the delete button or uh, right here, so the trash can, I'm going to bring it back with control Z. Control Z is our friend. It brings back or it undoes. Um, and then I'm going to hit the delete button. So we have to make sure it's clicked on to be yellow, and then we can just delete it from there. Okay, so that's just a really easy way to get rid of any errors or any dog barking or kids screaming or whatever happens in our daily lives when we're trying to record a video because it also seems to happen when you hit record. Um, so. Easy way to cut.